basting stitch built into this machine, stitch number 30. Now when you select it, you're gonna notice that there's a big stop button and it doesn't look like much and it tells you foot number nine. Foot number nine is an optional darning foot available at your local Bernina dealer. So you have uh, nothing, everything's gonna lock down, doesn't matter what the stitch length is. When you start to stitch, go ahead and hold on to your thread here and go take the locking stitches that it'll probably start with. Now, if you just try to slide this, sometimes it's really hard because the foot is down and the tensions are engaged. If you lift the foot up, this will allow you to slide forward and go ahead and take the next stitch, which will just be a one needle down and needle up stitch. Lift the foot, slide forward, so you can really quickly go across your fabric, basting it in place. You don't have to do it by hand. Sometimes you might find yourself taking one extra stitch in that same hole before moving or turning a corner. It will kind of secure it a little bit. Here, I'll do it once without, and it, you can kind of see it wants to pull a little bit. Now, if you don't want to keep pushing your foot up, foot down every time that you are wanting to take a stitch and you've moved your project. Almost needs, you almost need like three hands because this is probably not going to be a small item. Is go ahead and put your presser foot lifter in and go ahead and use that. Your free hand system is going to allow you to use your knee to lift the foot. Two hands are going to stay on the fabric at all times. And then when you lift that foot, those tensions release <clears throat> and make it really easy for you to take a stitch or two if you desire and then move to the next location. Make it really easy to keep two layers of fabric or three, I've got batting in here, in place. So basting, you never know <clears throat> when you might need it and that way you can just use your foot number nine, darning foot, and hop across your fabric. And if I turn the fabric over, because of the tension set for the basting stitch, which is 2.25, it's reduced, things pull to the back side, so it makes it really easy to remove the stitches when you're done.